the historical uh, inspiration for this project was the 1996 Olympic bombings in Atlanta, um, which was a pipe bomb placed under a bench. Um, and the Air Force wanted a detection solution that was uh, portable, not intrusive, and something inventive, something that they hadn't seen before. The Air Force gave us uh, specific requirements for the competition. It was very similar to a tailgate where they had a barbecue set up. They told us there were going to be 200 people and there would be up to 200 bombs. Uh, in, in reality, there were about 10. What we were tasked to do was to detect this, and we were given a time frame of about an hour to do this uh, before the bomb, the simulated explosives, would explode. So the core of our solution was wireless sensor networks, and uh, we deployed uh, sensors uh, that detect disturbances in the magnetic field, known as magnetometers, and uh, each of them were deployed in a, a package uh, that was put on a, a traffic cone and then dispersed throughout the, uh, the competition area. And we had a command center where uh, our, software deployed, uh, our software displayed all the, the nodes. We wanted something simple and something that's very flexible to deploy uh, yet uh, has low power and, and is very easy for the military to, to adopt. And we came across these metal detectors for, uh, for about $700 a piece. So, um, so what we did was we, we, we took it apart and, and we figured out that uh, we, could, we could do a better job than, than this. Uh, so uh, the idea came out was that um, our team evolved, uh, the design evolved into uh, a simple module of uh, um, a metal detector that communicates wirelessly um, uh, and can be deployed in any place in the field. And it's very small, as you can see here. And that allows for a very covert uh, detection method, very standoff, which is what the military uh, was really uh, pressing on. When I saw it there, I couldn't believe how well everything worked. There was not a single failure. All the sensor worked, the whole network worked. The only thing that <laughs> was not very polished is the student experience. So one interesting thing is that there was this giant bomb inside a container. People were carrying this container around. They arrested dozens of people. <laughs> and the container with the bomb was left. So that was the only failure. But the Air Force really liked it because they thought this was a proof that the te technology worked very well. But the students were not experienced in using the technology. We came in first place in the competition. We beat Ohio State. Um, it's really a rewarding experience uh, to be able to work on a, on a project of such uh, important scale um, as an undergraduate. It's really a good feeling. 35% um, of soldiers killed in Iraq are killed by IEDs. Um, so it's a great feeling to know that uh, we can make a difference. We can make progress towards uh, such, a, such a dire problem. The Air Force showed a lot of interest in, in, in the technology that, that was developed here at the university. And uh, so there are, there are talks right now into integrating some of that technology that was developed, both the software and the hardware, into uh, some of their projects going in the future.